Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So we are, or I am doing a very long awaited video. So my husband and I, we moved into our apartment in June of 2020 and it is currently the end of July 2021 when I'm filming this. So it's been a little over a year since we moved into our apartment and I am finally doing an apartment tour. Like I said, very long overdue. I feel like anytime you're decorating your place, it just always takes a long time for everything to really come together like you want it. And I just was like trying to finalize all the details and all of that stuff. I know that we're gonna be moving out when our lease is up in a year or a little less than a year from now. So I'm like, you know what? We need to film an apartment tour, show these guys what this place looks like, how I have it decorated. Um, I will go through details of where different things are from and I can leave things in the description box if you guys would like that. But yeah, otherwise, um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will have that linked below. I like to post a lot of um, fashion content and that sort of thing on there. But yeah, without further ado, we will go ahead and get right into this video. All right, so we will start at my back door. I'm not gonna go all the way outside, um, but this is obviously our only entrance into the apartment. So whenever you first walk in, you will see our little dining room over here. Um, so I have a mirror here in the corner just because I feel like mirrors definitely make the room look a little bit bigger. So this mirror is from Ikea. And then I just have some of this like tall green fake grass and a planter next to it just to kind of give the room a little bit of greenery and give it some life. And then up top I have this little white shelf that I use. Um, my intentions were to like put our keys and wallet and stuff like that on it. So you'll see like some of our keys piled up there. And then that is just a vase that at one point had some flowers in it. I just kind of set it up there. Not really sure. Eventually I'll put more flowers in it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, and that little shelf is from Menards. And then this little planter, I think, is from Gordman's, which is no longer a store. They are out of business now. Um, but then over here, so we just have a little frame of Aaron and I. And then that little um, Bible verse is from um, Hobby Lobby. And then our table and chairs is from Ashley Home Furniture. It's actually gray, but I didn't really end up liking it. So I just put this little lacy, um, what's that called? Table skirt on top of it just because I liked the vintage vibe that it gave it. And then the chairs are also gray as well, but I put little black coverings over them just to kind of tie in the black that's in the frames. Um, so yeah, I really like the way that turned out and then our wooden fruit bowl is vintage from an antique store. So if you spin around this way, so this is our kitchen. Um, we have a coat closet right here. Um, it pretty much just keeps all of my coats in it, a few of Aaron's, and then we keep our crock pot, Instapot, and some other miscellaneous stuff up top there just for extra room. And then over on this wall, before we go into the kitchen, I just have a few decor pieces. Um, so that was a wedding gift from one of Aaron and I's cousins. And then just a few, I think I got that from a place called Tuesday Morning and that is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I have my little bar cart. I believe I got this from Ikea. And I just have um, my little recipe box down there, some different types of wine glasses, cocktails, all that sort of thing, and then our array of alcohol assortment on top. And then going over into the kitchen, um, so our kitchen is really nice because it does look out into the living room and I love that concept. Um, it has these like speckled gray granite countertops, which is okay. I could have done a little bit better as far as that, but we'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> um, that little wooden basket just has our glass cleaner and soap and stuff in it that is from Gordman's I believe too don't mind the dirty dishes and then we just keep our Keurig in that corner and then the dishwashers there we've got our pantry which is super handy um, otherwise I have no idea where I would store all of that stuff but yeah and then over here um, we have this little like almost window looking mirror I believe I got that from Gordman's as well and then we just keep our trash can below it and this corner is the fridge we've got some greenery on top just to give it a little spice 
and then um, our little knife block that we got um, this is my Vitamix normally there it is in the wash right now and then those little um, flour and sugar holders are from Gordman's as well so and then that's our little Alexa show that we use to jam out to music um, while we're cooking dinner so Moving over here, so before we go into the living room, I want to show you guys this first. So this is my little office section. Um, I'm not going to go into full depth um, just because I do have a little fashion room tour, but I will give you guys just a quick overview because I know that a couple things have changed. Um, so I believe those were there last time. If they weren't, then I installed those just to give me some extra room to hang pants and stuff. And then um, I just use these two white shelves to display like all of my handbags, my perfumes, um, all of my favorite tennis shoes, jewelry, all that sort of thing. And then I keep um, like sunglasses, scarves, and lingerie and stuff in those two bins down there. And then um, I do have some of my fashion books just here displayed too because I thought it kind of went with the fashion aesthetic of the room. And then over in this corner, we have my wedding dress that I had, um, what is that called? Like preserved and put into a box. So I have that displayed. And then I just keep some of my workout equipment back there for whenever I do at-home workouts. And then over here, we've got a big window, which is nice for the natural lighting. And then I have my clothing rack with all of my newest pieces displayed with some of my shoes below. Um, clothing rack I got off Amazon. And then all of these shoe containers are from the container store. And then moving on to this wall, we have my Chanel sign um, that I got from Gordman's. My black little circle mirror that I got from Walmart, I believe. Might have been Amazon too. And then this gold frame that I got from Hobby Lobby that I have some of my fashion collages displayed in. And then we're back to this wall with the doors leading out. I have my little calendar over there. And then obviously, as you guys know, this is my closet um, with the rest of my clothes and more of my shoes down below. All right, so walking back out into the living room, I'll just give you guys a little overview. This room is probably my favorite, aside from my fashion room in the house um, or in the apartment, but we have a little cute plant that I got from Menards with the little white pot holder. And then our TV over here, um, the TV cabinet is from Wayfair. It actually used to be gray on the front, but I painted it black just because I liked the way that looked better with the room. Um, and then we have our banquet or banquet blanket basket over here in the corner that I got from Gordman's. Um, and then over here we've got our window. Honestly, don't remember where the curtains are from, so I will not be able to tell you guys that. But they're just white sheer curtains, but pretty basic. Um, and then over here we have these two little white shelves that are from Menards as well that have a bunch of old vintage books from antique shops displayed. And then this little like old 1800s candle that they used to carry around at night displayed as well with the picture frame with no pictures in it, lol. <laughs> and then this really cute plant holder that I got vintage as well with some plants from Hobby Lobby. I love this, it gives it a very old um, touch to a kind of more modern room. And then down below I have this mirror that I painted black with um, Zoe's little cat scratch post in front of it and then our big old couch that is the cloud couch replica only it's gray we got this from bob's discount furniture um way cheaper than the cloud couch and just as comfortable and looks pretty much the same in my opinion um and then pillows are an assortment from either hobby lobby or tuesday morning and then coming down here our rug is from Walmart. I really liked the red in the room. It kind of gave it a more like warm antique feel and then I was able to tie it in with the red pillows and just some of the like different brown colors and stuff in the rug tie in really nicely with my books and stuff there. And then down here we have my coffee table um, that I got from, what is that store called? It's a home furniture store. I don't remember. If I remember, I will um, put it on the screen right here. But on top of it, I just have 
two little vintage candle holders um, just a little candle sitting on one of our custom coasters from our wedding and then just some books displayed with a couple of plants I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby as well clearly I'm not ever a good plant mom because my plants are dying but yes I absolutely love this room um, oh and all of the picture frames on the wall they just have all of well not all of them but some of my favorite wedding photos displayed in them and all of these frames aside from those two brown ones and the black one are vintage from antique stores I absolutely love this frame I think I paid like 25 or 30 bucks for it it's literally gorgeous so yes love 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 this room all right and then walking back here so we've got bathroom and then bedroom um, and then this is a closet that has our water heater and all that in it so we'll start with the bedroom so when you walk in um, you see our bed with this beautiful tapestry that my sister got us for a wedding gift hanging over it. It has 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 written on it. Um, the love is patient, love is kind verse. I absolutely love that verse. Um, and then our bedding um, is from Target, I believe. Pillows are an assortment from, let's see, Tuesday morning again and at home. And then blanket is from... Ooh, probably Target or something like that again. And then um, we have some blackout curtains hanging for whenever I work um, night shift and sleep during the day. Those are from probably Walmart or Target. And then we just have Finnegan's cage over here in the corner, which he's in there right now just because I know he needs to go potty and I was trying to film this first. So, hi Bubba. Hi Sweet Pea. Are you being a good boy? So cute. Best touch to the apartment by far. <laughs> and then over here um, we have this white dresser. Oh, I forgot to mention all furniture in the bedroom is from Ikea. Um, and I just have my wedding bouquet displayed on top with the little Mr. and Mrs. picture frame that has the note of how Aaron asked me to marry him in it. And then I have my little white diffuser sitting on top. And then these two white candle holders that have LED candles on them from the wedding as well. And then our mirror is vintage from an old flower shop that's no longer in business. Um, absolutely love this frame. It was so, so cheap. I couldn't even believe it. And then over here we've got the TV on that wall. And then a couple more things, I guess, over here. So both of the bedside tables are identical, but these gold mirrors we got from at home. Um, our gold lamps are gifted to us for a bridal shower gift. And then I just have some of these same flowers that are in my bouquet and these little mason jars on our bedside to tie in my bouquet. And then Aaron's got his own little couple of things on there. Um, and then over on mine... I just have a gold picture frame that still doesn't have a picture of anyone but a random girl in it. So, <laughs> all right. So then over here, um, we just have Aaron's closet. He does have a bigger closet than me. However, I do have the whole fashion room. So that is just all of his clothes and shoes in there. And then we have a couple of pieces that are from my college days whenever I lived in the apartments on campus. Um, I don't really care for those anymore, but I just left them up, whatever. So those are from probably Target. Um, I don't honestly remember for sure, though. And then back here, we just have a little linen closet, you know, towel, sheets, all of our winter, like, hats, scarves, gloves, and stuff are in there swimsuits, beach towels, and then all of our board games and outdoor activity things are down there. All right, and then coming back around, and just so you guys know, that door does lead into the bathroom, but I'm going to go around and show you this way. So we have my two robes hanging on the outside of the door, and then this is just what the bathroom looks like. Um, we do keep her litter box in here just because that's easiest, most convenient. Um... So this lamp was actually supposed to go out in our living room, but we didn't have room for a side table. So we ended up putting it in here, which is kind of nice for some light um, at night whenever we have to get up and go to the bathroom instead of turning on the big light, you know. Um, but that is from Gordman's. Um, my little 
let's see, skincare fridge is from Ulta. And then my sister got me this little nurse decoration thing for, I think Christmas, may have been my birthday um, a couple of years ago that I just keep there on the wall. And then over on this wall, we have a Aaron and Caitlin sign that someone made us with our wedding day on it. I absolutely love it. I think it is so cute. And I love the little touch of red with the Eiffel Tower in the background. It's so pretty. And then over here, obviously our shower, um, shower curtain, all of the towels, we have light gray and dark gray towels. And then all of the rugs and stuff in here are all from Target. And then we just have a little shower caddy in here and that is from Target as well. Last but not least, coming back over here, this is supposed to be our laundry room. However, we don't have a washer and dryer. So we just bought this big old um, like metal display shelf from Home Depot that we keep um, cat stuff, dog stuff, cleaning supplies, more cleaning supplies, toilet paper, all that sort of thing on it. And then over here in the corner, we just keep our laundry basket and then mop, broom, and vacuum. I think Aaron has, oh yeah, he's got his charcoal over there. And then we just keep Zoe's little travel carrier up on top, so. All right, guys. So I know that felt like it was really quick. Maybe it just felt like it was quick to me. Like I said in the beginning, I will have as many... Um, different things linked below however a lot of the stuff that we got is from that Gordman store that I told you guys about and it is out of business so unfortunately I won't be able to link that sort of thing but if you guys want to know about anything specific just leave it in the comments below and I will definitely try and find a good dupe for you or something like that so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video thanks again so much for clicking and I will see you guys next time bye